What's popular YouTube? Another day, another demo. And I just had to put on my glasses so I could understand. Maybe I could feel a little bit smarter and feel a little bit more like simple. I think that was my goal today. Let me know if I look smart in the comments, but I had to borrow these glasses. These aren't mine. And they're also not prescription, so I'm going to take them off. But um, for a second there, you know, it was almost, I, I think I saw a scope. I was in the simple zone for a moment, but to be simple 24 hours a day, there's only one person who can feel like that. And that's simple himself and simple here at IEM Cologne, you know, he didn't win. It was an amazing grand final. Some say the best, best of five grand final of all time. You let me know if that's true in the comments below. I've watched them all. I've watched every single final. There's just so many. That's the only reason I want to call it too soon, but simple got MVP rightfully. So there's no way to dispute it. He was 10 points ahead of the next best phase player. Even though they won, he was still the best player at the tournament by a huge margin. He didn't have a great final map of the final, uh, where I think obviously FaZe are the better team, but he still got 109 kills in the whole series over five maps. And yeah, I mean, I, I, every every tournament so far we've done the MVP thing, so I wanted to watch it. The demo itself, it's uh, it's it's not exactly what I expected. You know, I watched a, a couple of demos to prepare for this game, and I noticed that their Navi were doing a lot of unique stuff, and they actually use a lot of that unique stuff versus Movie Star Rider. So I recommend going watching that yourself if you want to learn some interesting CT side setups that are maybe a bit more experimental. But I talk about that more in the game, so I'll leave you to watch it. Hope you enjoy, and yeah, let's get into it. Twenty twenty two sucks. But what if you could make $2,000.22 SellYourSkins.com It's all in the title. You sell your skins to cash out of those lovely works of art in your inventory with some of the lowest fees on the market so you can finally put a dent in those pesky student loans. It's super easy with a variety of payment methods including cash, crypto, credit card, etc. And if you use my code LAO, you get a welcome bonus. Thank you, Sell Your Skins, for sponsoring this video and making my content possible. Link in the description below. Back to the video. Let's watch the Grand Finals again, because I was looking back at the channel and I noticed, well, every time a tournament ends, we do the MVP of blank, blank. And for this tournament, which was the MVP of I Am Cologne, it wasn't Twists, it wasn't Rain, it wasn't Brokey. Uh, it was, in fact, Simple, because Simple had almost 10 points higher rating than the highest phase player at the whole event. That's right. Even on losing. And this is Simple, who uh, this year, of course, has just experienced his country getting bombed to smithereens, getting, uh, having to live in places elsewhere than Ukraine. Uh being so unmotivated that he actually came into Lisbon with no hours on Steam and still somehow was able to grab the MVP, make major finals, make the Cologne finals here, and yeah, get an MVP in an event he doesn't win, which is something that he also kind of set the precedent for. Um, I'm not sure if he was the very first person, but I know he was the first or second if... Uh, you know, one of the first. What's popular YouTube? Editor Mo here. The very first official MVP to a player who didn't win was simple at Star Series I League Season 4. In 2014, Shocks lost Dream Hack with LDLC, while also being named MVP. But as HLTV didn't hand out MVP medals before mid 2016, Simple's Star Ladder MVP is the very first official case. Enjoy the video. In preparation to uh, watch this match, I've watched a few of the Inferno games from Simple as well. Because I actually realized, you know, I haven't watched watched Simple in a bit. I haven't watched uh, Navi on Inferno in a bit. And this is something I like to watch a lot, actually. And one thing that I noticed that's awesome is some of the new setups that Navi are using. Where... We're going to see... Uh, sorry, I'm like a deer in headlights trying to figure out whether or not we're winning this round or losing it. And what, what cover there is... What am I, Yoda? W nice cover from Rops. Over the shoulder of Rain, I believe. Not sure if I got that wrong. SDY? Alone in the pit? Clasping his hands. He's praying. Praying... 
praying as hard as you can. Come to the A site. But it, it ain't going to happen, son. What we're going to see that's unique to Na'Vi. That, I mean, hopefully we see it. That one thing that I thought was cool was the way that simple and electronic or simple and SDY, they'll double up in positions in a number of spots, okay? So that means either double swinging on mid at the same time, two players up on the uh, balconies over on lane, right over here, one player each balcony saw a double boost in a recent match. I have seen a setup with SDY and Simple here. Doubled up. They've been doing some crazy, crazy things. Here we got a doubled up setup, boosted up. This one is simply for the clear. It's not really to see over a smoke. It's just literally for this fight. Um, to say, stay as vertical as possible. <clears throat> and Rops with a double refrag. Wow. Brings the hope back. One thing I also noticed was that Simple actually wasn't opping that often. Uh, and now he's kind of onto it very early. Bit awkward here. So we got to kill over towards the B site. But look what happens as face starts to come back. This lane setup is very potent. There is a small gap here where Simple, you know, very awkward timing could die first to somebody walking out of the halls. But they would kind of need some information on halls first by normally creeping up here and then you figure out if a ct setup is is set up like this like an astral assault setup something like that both sides of halls and then once you clear that out you have some better idea of whether or not you can scale but that takes a series of risks already and coming into the first rifle round they have to be worried about like something like this an op so should be dead quick shot from simple nonetheless and yeah, he's really almost done his job here. Best part about the smoke is it's not wasn't FaZe's first plan. In fact, they threw this as a way to at least get something out of this, but they, they give Simple a position to just hold, so he doesn't think too hard about it. He sits there for a bit. Teammate here to take over a position on long. And one thing we'll also see uh, with Simple that I'm going to try to think about as we're watching this is that he's going to go and take spaces like Arch back very often if he just feels like he needs to because see see how this can be kind of risky i mean if rops is standing anywhere it's very scary but what what happens see he switches out to his usp because now he's just created an entire rotation off of this one risk and as we can see i mean players are over in the b site he's worried about a lurker this is a situation where you would i guess you would do it every time we're gonna see simple do it a lot uh sometimes by himself but he does not like the feeling of you're not letting me rotate or you're not going to scare me into thinking I can't rotate. I'm always going to find out for myself. That's the kind of attitude that we're going to see from Simple, uh, especially on this map. But I think that's a map agnostic feature of the guy, honestly. And that just comes with not playing scared and, and trusting your reads because he does that a lot for sure. So, yeah, first rifle down. Clearly his site is a scarier one to go to. You're shooting hot. But... There's still one. This is a deep mid smoke, sometimes paired with a molly to go for the jump up in the halls. No molly here on simple, but if you do this, then it helps your B players get a lot more information. Like, for, for example, you can make it seem like you're playing uh, heavily towards B, three towards B, and then that could dissuade the, your opponents from wanting to take B control. So let's see, deep... Uh, Deep mid smoke here. Sometimes Molly bounces right here to Molly the stairs for the jump up. If there's a fast hall strat, of course, it can be heard from lane, but normal electronic will always be lane in this situation. Simple throws his nade set, and then there's a certain amount of time where that nades those nades can be disrespected. And so the all of the B players know, and whoever is just spotting mid kind of have to understand that, that these nades need to be respected because they're buying time. Okay, one up hall is dead. Ooh. I just get away with that one. Trade down 2 2. You see, the flashes were excellent. And SDY didn't get his one. You got to get your one. Oh, they counter flash? No, bit's fine. He's playing anti for simple slash in the first place, so I think he. 
dodge the phase flash really quickly, but look like twist. Man like twist, man. Fast as lightning. One trade back. This flash again, or this smoke again, I should say. Man, look how good of a job phase are doing of... They're, like, kind of countering. They're, they're not even countering simple that much. He's still getting his kills, but they're... they're still managing the rounds by avoiding him at the end of the round or killing his teammates f as much as he can as much as they can so if the smoke is correct even if you walk forward there should be no gap in the front that's how you know if your coffin smoke is bad of course you can throw one on purpose or you leave a gap so you can hold it that's an idea that you could have and no way simple gets that yeah right oh man that's like zywoo and the pug that we were watching the other day that 3k that's how they get back in the round see this was just to speak to how well phase we're doing to avoid simple or end rounds with him still alive or let him get his two and still win here a simple literally needs to kill everybody to get back into the game so this is a lot of impact so here's that nade set this is not the deeper one because he doesn't take the uh running step this uh, smoke, of course, we've talked about this one as well. That just lands right here. It's just a better version of a top mid smoke, right? It's a little deeper. It's super free map control because on both sides you can peek, which means it's just scary if the T's want to sneak through. There's not like you could sneak through. But okay, if, imagine if there was only one part, the map was cut off like this. It wouldn't make quite as much sense to smoke this deep every time because the T's know you have to watch it from this side, for example, right? But since you always early round can watch it from both sides, no problem. Like this almost free. It's much scarier to think about walking through. So it makes a big difference as to how deep you can throw smokes and tunnels. Um, you know, monster smoke, for example, on overpass is something that you used to back in the day, way back in my day, hey, we used to just throw the smoke at the our, our end of the tunnel, right? And now you smoke the back end because you realize, I mean, as long as you can clear that out, it makes it way harder to get away with rushes because if they can get up to the edge of that smoke and then exec, you've got a whole world of problems. You have less time to throw your grenades backwards. You have less time to react if they if you hear footsteps. Whereas if you know the smoke is deeper, it's better. So it requires a little bit more awareness, a little bit more map control in some instances. Um, but if you can get those smokes deeper, that's kind of the idea. Super solid. Nade fall back. I'm actually surprised he doesn't even get that kill. Does good damage, but Rain hits him with a Taric step back. We caught that on cam live. Oh yeah, okay. Simple did a lot. HE is a super underrated piece of utility for stopping rushes because it actually does everything that the other nades do to a lesser extent, if you think about it, right? And then it also has the added effect of slowing which is unique to he's which is also fantastic so he's do impact damage like a molly does damage even though it's damage over time he does straight up you know a good amount of impact damage but it doesn't last like last as long as an as a molly it doesn't hold off a choke point but it has nade smoke so you could use the nade smoke to cross you can use the nade smoke to fight behind it's a very underrated uh aspect of the he that uh a flashbang kind of would have right to give you the same effect it's not quite as strong but it's still also quite good and then um the other thing is that you can see through smokes if you line it up properly shout out monacy and finally uh with the he yeah you tag them you slow them you obscure their vision and uh you know if you hear a molotov come you might be able to dodge it and you can do that as well for the HE, but as long as the HE gets near you at the point at which it opens, it'll do a lot, it can do a lot more damage than a molly. So it has higher potential to instantly kill than a molly does. Of course, I mean, everyone knows this. I'm just making, I'm making my argument for why we should appreciate the HE a little bit more. Also important to note, you know, sometimes you want that HE on T side of Inferno. Sometimes you would rather have the second flash because scaling maybe is more difficult or having an extra god flash or having a CT flash for B or having your halls pop flash 
flashes might be more of a scarce resource on the T side. You want to have an extra flash. On the CT side, your HE is probably going to be easier to land, right? Just throwing an HE on a timing in the mid, throwing it in the halls, throwing a running HE from lane to the back of the halls, throwing an HE basically anytime in any place to bell, logs, half wall, top car, anywhere on the CT side at any point of the round, you might, you're probably going to hit someone. So the HE is definitely more effective on the CT side. It doesn't mean that you'll never want to buy it on T side, but that is something to consider. Sometimes you just want two flashes. Communal pot of utility here inside a spawn. Not seeing many of those double setups that I was talking about earlier in this game, actually. Um, more of a, a classical, a, c a contemporary style of Counter-Strike that we're seeing Navi play. Special just for FaZe. No tricks versus FaZe. Maybe because they feel like their normal game is the the correct and best way to beat face since they normally can pull out Inferno. So, I'm not sure. Maybe if things get really hairy, they start to pull it out. They start to pull out new ideas. Now, we are looking at a game that's... It was started 5-1 with Simple on the, on the Deagle Eco, and they haven't lost a round since. So he's brought him back. The Undertaker, in true Undertaker fashion. Countering smokes is a huge part of this game. Fellas, okay. Library smoke is coming down. Arch smoke is coming down. But what's the only choke point that has access to that? It's the archway. So with that smoke down in the archway, I mean, they can come through. Uh, they, don't, they don't necessarily have to. This might have been to have a lurk come out. And they've got to keep simple on guard here. But that's one smoke for two smokes with under a minute left on the clock. And they will eventually run through. Oh my god, and the win. I don't know if there was a flash there. We're going to go back and see. And he throws his last one. We're talking about SDY and Electronic with a flash in hand here. He peeks before the flash. Okay, so what he was trying to do is... I mean, he might have been trying to peek perfectly with the flash. But he might have been trying to get them to turn from the flash as he peeked. Either way, it lands behind him. And that doesn't work out. And in fact, no one's in planting anti, planting anti in that position. Whoa, whoa! All right, all right, Ellie. Okay, interesting grenade. Screw up the clip and rops. He's cleaning clocks. There was a weird, it was a weird final from some players. I think especially Bit and Perfecto for me were quite disappointing. Like we had a final here for Navi where. Simple and Electronic were great. I mean, Simple's last map wasn't that awesome on Nuke, but throughout the series, he got like, I mean, overall, he got 109 kills, and Electronic had like 119 or something. So I think his next next three teammates were like 65 ADR or below. And I mean, this is a grueling best of five final that goes the distance, of course. You know, I don't even want to imagine how low my ADR would have been it, uh, and how tired I would have been and everything, but... Um, and when we look over at the phase side, much more even in terms of how good their performances were. And yeah, I mean, every elite tournament besides the every, well, every elite tournament that ESL runs besides the uh, majors are going to have best of five finals. And so it's, it's something that's relevant. I mean, they're, it's likely that they meet head to head in a few of these finals. And I said it in the twist demo, but these two teams right now, are the two best teams by considerable margin. For me, there is no number three team right now. That is totally up in the air. I don't really care who is listed as a number three by points. It's not really relevant because for me, these are the only two teams that can win right now consistently. So we'll, we'll, we'll kind of see, I think, after the player break, how things shake up. But I mean, a, a G2 with a brand new IGL and then Vitality making what could be a blockbuster roster move. I mean, Will that just suddenly make the difference? I'm doubtful. I'm doubtful these two teams are so far ahead. And I think every time there's a roster move, there's a gestation period. There's some time to build into it before you get really good. Vitality could be closer to plug and play with just Sphinx and not replacing an IGL, but you get what I mean, right? See, that one's a regular top mid smoke. Now, of course, you had to be closer to mid to line up the other smoke. Um, but both smokes are, they do the job. 
you don't necessarily need to throw them like that. Sometimes a deeper smoke can cause more panic, cause people to spam more, because sometimes the CTs have to walk in a little deeper to over here, but sometimes the CTs will walk down mid to throw their nades deeper, so the CTs will spam back, or they'll just, the CTs will spam back, or they will uh, throw HEs into this area as well. So, uh, Graveyard is awesome. I'm actually surprised Simple uses his smoke in this situation because Graveyard is a spot that's tough to get out of. But it is also, you know, literally made of concrete or whatever the hell it is. So, it's just, it's a waste of time to try to spam it unless you have an op. And even in that case, you got to have like a teammate with you because if you spam and miss, the person in Graveyard can swing both sides easily. It's a nice fight when they jump up onto the scooter coming from Arch. It's a nice fight into lane. It's one where if the other team doesn't have a molly, which is why I mentioned the smoke, um, it's almost impossible to get someone out of, basically. That's that's the thing. You need a molly or the double HE. So yeah, we're actually not seeing you know super innovative ideas come out this time from Navi. Um, we are getting a little bit of the you know, more of the rifle presence that I expected coming into the game. It's just fallen out of favor for people to use ops on this map overall, which, hey, some would say is a great thing, but... Okay, let's see what the response is like. I think there must be an art smoke down if... Uh, electronic was just over there. And he wasn't spotted in his rotation to Graveyard last time, so I don't know if he wants to go. Or maybe he was, I don't know. Okay, he takes down one. It's actually fine with the 4-3 situation that they have. 4-2-3. <laughs> I would be watching my lane. This is simple, by the way. We see what he spectates. And I would, I would, I would just be watching my teammate on site. He's watching to see if the lurks get caught and stuff. Oh, what a shot. Crazy. I think Bit's headshot percentage was still high for Cologne, but for some reason he just wasn't that good. Face kind of put her out there. Yeah, we're not seeing any early B pressure. The op comes through after a lost round. We've seen that be a pattern to get Navi back on their feet. Simple will pick up the op. He's just basically not spending too much money ever. I mean, I guess if especially if there are saved guns. It seems like if any of his teammates need to rebuy or anything like that, then he won't like drop an AK and pick up an op. He'll keep an AK so that everyone can AK up. And some maps, you would just get the op if you have the money, but Inferno is a map where you don't need it necessarily. It's still better to have it on CT side, but you don't need it. So it might be a, an economical decision. Do I need to say economical? Can I say economic? He made a money decision. They're coming Arch again. This has been working out pretty well. They got super close, man. These explodes on Arch have been crazy. I, you know, I expected this game to have a lot more to do with lane side execs. And uh, we really haven't seen that many. Maybe a couple. Oof, this is tough. I mean, it's good to, you know, get into a spot like this. He, he's here to catch a lurk now. Anybody walking up in the halls. This is a phase one, two. There's going to be layers to their game plan. Uh, I would only assume they could move straight into a B exec. I don't exactly know what the side of the map looks like for them. Uh, well, it looks like there's still B smokes up. And simple is simply waiting for the transition back to the side of the map. So, you know, it may come, it may not. And we'll see what the ROPS jiggle looks like if it does. But you can almost, I feel like you can almost Assume that Kerrigan wants to re -ex or just exec B with the B control that he has currently, but who knows? They are taking some time. Simple peels back out of this position. Looks like the timing was meaningful there. And yeah, the B exec is, is coming, but we can trust his teammates to hold on to it. We definitely did not see a lot of early rotations here for simple over towards the B site in this um, 
demo, but he did do a hell of a lot, especially in the way of kills. And got back into the game with that deagle frag. Yeah, again, um, this time I was kind of surprised we didn't we didn't see some of the innovations that we saw. Uh, well, in the game that I watch, the games that I watched, I watched uh, Mal's match, and I watched one where he played against uh, I believe it was movies, movie stars. Yes. And I think that's where they had the most amount of innovation, where they tried stuff. Oh, what's interesting is they only got nine rounds in that game. That's kind of a hilarious, actually. Yeah, didn't really have much of a team there, so maybe that's why they lost. They got zero. They got zero T rounds. Let me just take a look at that real quick. So they had. A, I watched the CT side, and then they got no rounds in the second half. So I don't know. Maybe just felt like they had to change something. But yeah, overall, man. What a tournament for Simple, the MVP of um, the, you know, bittersweet to get the MVP and not win, especially in what many are saying is the best, best of five grand final uh, of all time. If you agree, let me know in the comments. I'm curious what you think. I mean, I've watched every best of five grand final. I've been around since the beginning of the game. The, my only trepidation about calling it right now is just that there's been so many that I don't, you know, want to say, but I've also just been blown away at the current era of Counter-Strike, the games have been so fantastic. The storylines have been rich the, and nutritious, and there's there's been so much drama. It's been very exciting, and I think it's a, it's a great time to be a Counter-Strike fan. If you're new, you're coming in at a really great time. Um, and I think what's great also is this idea of some kind of, not a duo era, it's phases time. It's phases time. They're they are better than Navi right now. They're doing better overall. They probably got the better team overall, best team uh, with Kerrigan, the best IGL. And I think that I, I just want this to be somewhat close because for for me right now, these two teams are the only, only super solid, consistent, best playing Counter-Strike teams in tier one. And I think I want that to continue. So these guys are, are what, what Counter-Strike is all about at the moment. Everyone is trying to catch up to both of them, I would say. So, and Simple is still very much ahead of everybody in the world, whether or not you want to believe it. There's actually, it's actually a super unclear who's even number two. That's how, he's actually more far ahead than anybody else this year than he was last year or the year before. You know, at this point in the year, I think Zaiwu last time had a couple of slow starts. Now there's no way, you know, well, he's not caught up nearly enough just yet. But we're just seeing absolutely unbelievable stuff. I mean, considering the state of this year, for example. I, d I just can't even fathom. It just doesn't make sense to me. Let's keep it going. Watch more uh, games. Who who do you want me to watch? Let me know in the in the in the comments below. But for now, I'm out. See you guys.